Hello, my dear students. Today, teacher will discuss the exercise of Mastery Q 4.1, page 79, question number 1. Okay, this is the last exercise before we go to the subtopic 4.2, which is rates. Number 1, the diagram shows three squares A, B and C. Okay, squares. What's the meaning of squares? Squares mean a quadrilateral that have same length of sight. Same size of sight. Size, eh? So the length is 2cm. So this is 2cm. 2cm, 2cm. B, square, 3cm. So this one is 3cm. 3cm, 3cm. So C is a square, therefore this is 4cm, 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 4cm. So the squares is the quadrilateral that has the the same size of uh, length. A represent each of the following in the form of A ratio B ratio C. Number one. The length of square A to the length of square B to the length of square C. So, the, the length is symbol L. Length A ratio length B ratio length C equal. We can get the answer direct. So, A 2CM. B 3CM. C 4 cm. Okay, then we check the unit. The unit is same. So we get rid of the unit. We write 2 ratio 3 ratio 4. Okay. Go to the next questions. A2. Parameter of square A to the parameter square the parameter of square. B to the parameter of square C. Okay, what's the meaning of parameter? Parameter is the total of the length. So, parameter A equal to the total of the length is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Then we get 8 cm. Okay, parameter B. Okay, parameter B. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. So we get 6 plus 6, 12 cm. And perimeter C equal to 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. So, 16. Seven. Okay. Then we write here. Okay. The ratio of parameter A to parameter B Ratio perimeter C equal okay, 8 cm. Ratio 12 cm. Ratio 16 cm. Okay, so the unit is the same. Then we write 8 ratio 12 ratio 16. Okay, so it is 
more advisable to write the answer in simplest form. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. Okay. This one, teacher bring here. Eight ratio twelve ratio sixteen. Okay, how to change to the simplest form? Eight twelve. 16. Okay, this one is a prime number. Even number can divide by 2. 8 divided by 2, 4. 12 divided by 2, 6. 16 divided by 2, 8. This one, even number divided by 2. 4 divided by 2, 2. 6 divided by 2, 3. 8 divided by 2, 4. So, no more number can divide 2, 3 and 4. So, the high common factor is... 2 times 2 equal to 4. Therefore, this one can you divide by 4, 4, 4. Okay, so 8 divided by 4 is 2. Ratio 6, ratio 8. Okay. Okay, this is the answer. Now look at number 3. Number three, the area of square A to the area of square B. To the area of square C. Okay, what's the meaning of area? The meaning of area is the length multiple the width. So the area A equal to 2 times 2. Equal to 4 centimeter square. Area B equal to 3 times 3 equal to 9 centimeter square. Area C equal to 4, multiple 4. Get 16 centimeter square. So the ratio A, the ratio of area A to Area B to area C equal to 4 ratio 9 ratio 16. Okay. So we cannot simplify anymore. Okay. This is the final answer. Okay. Now B. Okay. A finish. Now we look at B. The equal, equivalent ratios based on your answer in A. Okay. Uh, there is a error here. So it should be A1. Only A1, not A2 or A3. Only A1. So the A1, the ratio is 2 ratio 3 ratio 4. Okay. Equivalent ratio. Okay. 
there are lots of answer can be written you can multiply with any number and you can divide by, by any number so if i multiply with okay, let's say i choose 2 so this one 2 this one multiply 2 so the answer for ratio a ratio 16 okay this is one of the answer another answer you can divide by any number yeah okay let's say i divide by 5 okay this is divided by 5 also divided by 5 so what's the answer Two or five ratio three over five ratio four over five. Okay. So you choose either you want to or either multiple with any number or divide by any numbers. Yeah. So you choose either multiple number or divide by any numbers. But I prefer you write only one answer you choose. Okay, now look at number C. C. Okay. C, 3Q has 6 questions. Teacher already discussed question number 1. So question number 2, question number 3, question number 4, question number 5 and last question number 6. Please try. Yeah. Please try means this is a homework. Yeah. So if you got a problem, you can text me and I will help you. No matter how, I will help you. So that's all for today. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.